Can you believe it? It's already 2026. This year is set to deliver major milestones for the space industry. At the forefront is the arrival of the first true successor to the ISS, the VAST space station. NASA and VAST are moving quickly, with preparations already well underway for the station's upcoming flight. SpaceX, serving as the launch provider and likely the primary resupply partner, is also ready to support the mission. In today's episode, we take a comprehensive look at every Everything leading up to this journey before it officially begins. Indeed, if nothing changes, the vast space station, often described as the world's first true commercial space station and America's next space station, is preparing for launch. We are closer than many people realize. Let's take a closer look at the journey so far. In the most recent major update released by VAST, the company confirmed that the Haven 1 module had completed full structural welding. This milestone was announced in mid-September. At that point, the module still appeared as a raw industrial structure, essentially a solid metallic shell. While it lacked visual refinement, this stage represented one of the most critical steps in station construction. A fully welded pressure vessel is the foundation of everything that follows. Without it, no other system matters. Only a few weeks later, in early October, VAST announced another major step forward. The Haven 1 module had been fully painted. The structure was now coated in a bright white exterior, transforming it visually from a construction object into something unmistakably recognizable as a spacecraft. This this change was not purely cosmetic. Exterior coatings play a role in thermal regulation and protection, helping manage temperature extremes once the station is exposed to the space environment. Following the completion of painting, VAST stated that the next phase would involve integrating two of the most structurally sensitive components of the entire station. These were the main hatch and the large domed window. Both elements are essential to the station's function and identity, but they also introduce significant engineering challenges. Any opening in a pressure vessel must maintain absolute structural integrity while withstanding constant internal pressure. Later in October, VAST revealed something that surprised many observers. The company showed two nearly identical station modules. VAST explained that one module would serve as the primary flight article, while the second would be a dedicated test article. This approach reflects strong engineering discipline. By maintaining a separate test unit, VAST can push systems to their limits without placing the flight hardware at unnecessary risk. This also allows development and testing to proceed in parallel, helping keep the schedule on track. That same month, VAST provided insight into the wide range of systems already undergoing testing. These included radiation-tolerant computers designed for prolonged exposure to space radiation, power generation and distribution systems, onboard software, sensors, reaction control systems, propulsion hardware, radios, ground station links, and full command and control architecture. Together, these systems form the operational backbone of the station. On the final day of October, VAST confirmed another critical milestone, the Haven 1 module had successfully completed pressure and load acceptance testing, with both the hatch and the domed window installed. This is one of the most demanding tests any crewed space structure must pass. During these tests, the module is pressurized and mechanically stressed to simulate launch forces and on-orbit conditions. Passing this test confirms that the structure can safely support human life. These tests are especially important because the hatch and window are not passive components. They directly affect how the station connects with visiting spacecraft and how astronauts interact with their environment. Any weakness here would compromise both safety and mission viability. After completing pressure and load testing, VAST stated that the next phase would involve final weld inspections, followed by integration inside a clean room. This marks the transition from structure to system. Inside the clean room, engineers install the internal components that truly define the station. These include life support hardware, power routing, data networks, crew interfaces, lighting systems, and interior structures. This phase is naturally slow and meticulous. Much of the work is conducted quietly and without public visibility. While it may appear uneventful from the outside, this is where the station becomes habitable. Moving forward to early December, VAST shared another important update. The company revealed that a docking adapter fit check had been completed with Haven 1 earlier in October. This test involved passive docking hardware. In practical terms, VAST likely used a simulation 
simulated spacecraft docking interface, potentially modeled after Crew Dragon, to verify compatibility with the station's docking port. The purpose of this test was to demonstrate compliance with international docking system standards. These standards require extremely precise alignment and engagement. VAST emphasized this achievement again in mid-December, highlighting its importance. Alongside docking integration, VAST disclosed additional system-level testing. Vibration tests were conducted to simulate the intense shaking the station will experience during launch. Heat sink performance tests were also completed to validate the internal cooling loops that manage heat generated by onboard systems and crew activity. In December, VAST also conducted ground-based simulation tests of the station as an integrated system. According to the company, these simulations are essential for identifying unexpected interactions between subsystems and improving overall flight safety. These tests also allow engineers to observe how the station behaves as a unified whole rather than as individual components. Another key milestone achieved in December involved propulsion testing. VAST released footage showing Haven 1's thrusters firing in a vacuum test environment. The station uses Saif thrusters to maintain its orbit and orientation. These thrusters were tested in a multi-thruster configuration to validate performance under realistic conditions. VAST revealed that the Haven demonstration module will fly with three thrusters, while the operational Haven 1 station will ultimately be equipped with up to 48 thrusters. This level of redundancy ensures precise control and resilience in the event of individual thruster failures. Taken together, these milestones show that VAST has moved well beyond conceptual design. This is real flight hardware progressing through a disciplined and methodical test campaign. According to VAST's schedule, 2026 will include full environmental testing of the integrated station. These tests will expose Haven 1 to vibration, acoustic noise, electromagnetic interference, and thermal vacuum conditions. Thermal vacuum testing is particularly important as it simulates the extreme temperature swings and vacuum of space. Once these tests are complete, Haven 1 will be cleared for delivery to the launch site. There, the station will undergo final inspections, fueling preparations, and integration with its launch vehicle. There is still much to come, and nearly every remaining step carries major significance. Based on its current progress, the vast space station is positioned to become the world's first privately owned space station. That alone makes it historic, but its importance goes far beyond a single milestone. The ISS has served humanity well, but it is undeniably a Aging. After decades of operation, wear and tear are unavoidable. Modules in the Russian segment have experienced repeated air leaks, requiring constant monitoring and repair. These issues reduce efficiency and raise serious safety concerns. Russia has also repeatedly signaled that it may withdraw from the ISS earlier than originally planned, potentially as soon as 2028. If that occurs, the ISS could face accelerated retirement. In that scenario, NASA would urgently need an alternative to maintain a continuous human presence presence in low Earth orbit. This is where VAST's aggressive schedule becomes strategically important. Launching early gives VAST a unique advantage. It places the company ahead of many international competitors and ahead of several domestic projects as well. Within the US, other proposed stations include Axiom Station and Orbital Reef. Each has strengths. Axiom benefits from its planned attachment to the ISS, while Orbital Reef plans to use inflatable modules that offer expansion advantages. VAST was not initially selected under NASA's commercial Low Earth Orbit Destinations program. However, progress matters. The company's rapid, visible, and consistent development contrasts sharply with the slower and less transparent progress of some competitors. This momentum has allowed VAST to emerge as a serious contender for future NASA partnerships. On the international stage, the VAST station also plays a role in maintaining U.S. leadership in orbit. China's Xiangong space station is already operational. Although smaller than the ISS, it is newer and incorporates more modern technology. Its internal layout is often considered more efficient and ergonomic. To remain competitive, the U.S. needs a modern station designed from the ground up for long-duration human habitation. Beyond timing, VAST's long-term vision is particularly compelling. One of the most important factors behind VAST's rapid rise is its partnership with SpaceX. The station will integrate Starlink, providing high-speed internet connectivity. This capability has already proven transformative for both terrestrial and space-based operations. Reliable, high-bandwidth communication will improve research efficiency, operational coordination, and overall quality of life for crews. Unless competing stations introduce similar capabilities, this alone gives VAST a significant advantage. The interior design 
design philosophy of the Vast Station is another major differentiator. Preview videos show a clean, modern environment that emphasizes openness, simplicity, and comfort. Lighting, layout, and interfaces appear carefully designed to reduce stress and improve hospitality. This represents a clear departure from old space station designs including the ISS, which were built incrementally over decades and often prioritized function over comfort. Vast is designing a station for humans first. This approach also aligns with the future of space tourism. As commercial spaceflight becomes more accessible, demand for comfortable and welcoming orbital environments will increase. Vast appears to be designing not only for astronauts, but for a broader range of future occupants. It's also important to remember that Haven 1 is only the beginning. Vast plans to follow with Haven 2, a larger module that builds on the same design philosophy. If Vast secures a role in NASA's program, the company believes it could launch the first Haven 2 module as early as 2028. Over time, multiple Haven 2 modules would be launched and connected. A central core module, launched by SpaceX's Starship, would provide four docking ports. The Haven 2 modules would attach to this core, forming a cross-shaped structure. Additional modules would then extend each branch, gradually expanding the station into a complex capable of rivaling other major platforms. Of course, none of this happens without SpaceX. While SpaceX does not own the vast station, its role is central. Falcon 9 is expected to launch the Haven 1 and 2 modules, Starship will eventually launch the core module. Although Starship is still under development, the core module is expected to fly last, likely around 2029 or 2030. By then, Starship should be a mature and reliable vehicle. SpaceX will also support crew and resupply missions using Crew Dragon. Vast has stated that shortly after Haven 1 launches, the first crewed mission could occur within weeks and last approximately two weeks. This reflects confidence not only in the station, but also in Dragon's proven reliability. SpaceX has supported IS as cargo and crew missions for years with an exceptional safety record. It's logical that Vast and other future stations would rely on these vehicles. With reliable launch systems, advanced communications, and a human-centered design, Vast is building more than a station. It's building the foundation for a new era. The only remaining question is whether we are ready to step into it. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.